Hi everybody, uh, today I want to do a quick video on the Asus AI Mesh Node uh, RPAX58 and to show you how to change a couple of really important settings to make sure you're getting the maximum Wi-Fi speed uh, because as I found out to my cost I wasn't getting the maximum speed that I could have been. So let's go through the settings that you need to change. So first thing you need to do, head over to your Asus uh, router login as I have done here, click on the AI Mesh menu item and then you'll find your uh, RPAX58 node coupled uh, in my case to my RTAX88U. First thing I'll do is just do a baseline speed test so using my phone connected directly to my RTAX88U to look at what my Wi-Fi speeds should look like and as you can see I'm getting a baseline speed of 666 megabits per second upload and exactly the same 666 megabits download speed okay so the next thing to do is to connect my uh, phone the same phone that i just did the baseline speed test to the ai mesh node uh, so you can see here it's connected here's my phone uh, that's now on the rpa x58 let's do another quick speed test and as you can see, it's dramatically slower. So it's 238 megabits per second upload and a miserable 112 megabits per second download speed. So if I just go through the settings to have a look at why this might be happening. So first of all, you can see that the node reports the connectivity quality is great. If I click on the network tab here, you can see I've got Ethernet backhaul. So this should be much much faster than it is uh, showing what i did find out um, if you look under the management tab there's a backhaul connectivity priority so here there's auto 5g and uh, the one gigabit uh, bit per second wan first what happens here even though i've selected the one gig wan if that wasn't available it would fall over to the five gigahertz so it, essentially the AI mesh is keeping a portion of that five gigahertz spectrum open in case I need it for backhaul. So if we look under the systems settings tab, there's something here called ethernet backhaul mode. So if you just click that to on, so just go to the bottom and click okay, that now means that the um, backup Wi-Fi connectivity for backhaul has been switched off and now the RPAX58 is operating 100% in backhaul mode. Okay, so those settings have been implemented. Let's run the same speed test again. So same phone and here we go. So in this case, yep, it's massively increased. So I'm now back up at 704 megabits per second upload speed and 567 megabits per second download speed. So the AI mesh node can be just as fast as the main router, but you just need to make sure that you get these settings just right or you're not going to be getting the best performance. I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that notification bell so we see each other in the next video. Take care, everybody.